Hey y'all, how's it going? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this auto posting script or rather a sequence scenario rather from make.com. And what it does is uh, the following. So if I add any image or file to this folder, which is a Google Drive synced folder. So I downloaded the Google Drive uh, plugin for Mac and then, you know, I can have my files here like that and, and, and yeah, I can just throw anything in here and it'll automatically sync with the Google Drive. I actually don't need this, so let me delete. I, I won't delete that, but um, the point is I can drag and drop anything in here. It could be an image, it could be a video or anything. And as soon as I do that, um, it'll just take a second and it'll create a link and I can copy that link and dro drop it here. And I can do that with pictures and videos and it'll automatically uh, dis uh, distinguish between the two. And then what it'll do is it'll extract the ID. It'll uh, create a variable for the, the script to run. It'll get the file and then it'll route it like this. If it's a video, go up here. If it's a photo, go like down here. And then it'll interact with the APIs accordingly to publish them to either Instagram or Facebook's uh, post a reel or create a photo post, as you can see. So those are the two branches. It's choosing whether to publish a video or publish a uh, image. Um, so, so that sounds simple enough, but how am I getting the stuff? Well, I'm a big fan of just reposting stuff. Now you can download and, um, and edit or do whatever, but for the purposes of this, I just wanna show you how this works. So I'm gonna go to a uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, Instagram accounts here. Let's see if I can find a quick reel because they usually don't do just reels. Uh, not ideal. So let's go to let's go to skate or die and just grab a random video here. So this one right here. So cool. You see this? I like this. Actually, I actually already posted that. So let me do this one. So I like this video. Let's say I want to repost this exact thing um, in a few weeks or whatever. So, or maybe immediately, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do this in bulk. So I'm going to do sit down for an hour and do like 50 of these. Um, so I'm going to grab that, throw that in here into this website. And then as soon as I do that, it's totally free too. Um, it'll automatically, uh, get get you the the uh the, the caption of that post which includes hashtag repost and then the the appropriate place where you're taking that uh item from and then also it adds it to the bottom now you can remove this with the pro account but i don't remove it because i do want to credit the original source and you can change this stuff but i don't really care for that right now um so all i can do now is just click download and as soon as i download it it's a mp4 file and it downloads super quick, as you can see. And now I can actually take that. Uh, let's. Unfortunately, I have to do two steps here. Grab that and throw that into that folder. And the reason I'm bringing it into that folder is because this is a live folder. It's a Google Drive folder that is shared, and it has to be accessible to everyone. It has to be shared with anyone who has the file, so that your API can interact with it. Um, you can see it finished download it, uh, uploading immediately. So now I copy that link to my clipboard, and here you go, paste. Now, I do also um, want to add this. It just copied as soon as that I did that. And I can add that somewhere like in here. And then later I can tell OpenAI, ChatGPT, to reference the original caption and then do something with that, like um, make sure to credit the person who created that. Maybe I'll do that right now in this video, actually. Um, now, I don't know. I, I, I already ran it on this one and the sequence is, is created in a way that it'll automatically get a new row and this one already ran. So I'm pretty, and it runs every 15 minutes um, for this testing environment, but I'm gonna run it once and see if it actually run appropriately. But before I do that, let's go and make sure that my OpenAI's uh, script here, I have the, I have it, let's see, a uh, human description. Um, let's see, make, make sir, sir, to read this caption. This is the original caption. I don't care about spelling right now and credit the original source. All right. And what I will do here is I will go to wherever I pasted that like original caption. That's D. So I will now click on that and all of a sudden where is D, original caption, and then it will reference that when it, when it runs the ChatGPT portion. So, oh, and I also forgot to mention why I have vision when it splits into this route here. 
So the reason I have this is because if I have an image, it can't do this with video yet. I, you know, that's not, we're not there yet with AI, but with an image, I can upload an image to ChatGPT and it'll analyze that image and know what's in the image. Once it does that, then I throw that that description, that very um, descriptive description into ChatGPT and then it'll, it'll create a caption about the image because it, it kind of sees the image. It's kind of a workaround for it to use uh, vision. So that's why I have that and I don't have that up here because it doesn't have that available for um, for video yet. Got to make sure to save. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, click OK and now click save. And now let's go ahead and run this and hopefully we'll see this in action. If there's any errors, we're going to fix them in real time and maybe we'll all learn something together. It's thinking, OK, cool, good. It found a new I found a new row. Uh, oh, no, I did it for the top one, unfortunately. So that's not what I wanted. Um, I actually want to delete this all to... No, let's just... i leave it. So so it's it's doing its thing. It's going up here. It, it realized that it was a video based on some of the stuff that I have here. It's get... I have an HTTP request, and in the, in the request, if it contains the word MP4 in the data, then go up to this branch. And now it's using these tools. It's uploading to Instagram. And the video in question is actually... I, I didn't want to do this one because um, I already have this up, so it's going to be a little harder to see when I refresh the page. Um, if it worked properly, but you'll basically see two videos because yeah, because because it posted it twice. Uh, actually, it'll, you'll see three because it didn't finish yet, and now it's finished and it's going to go right into this one up here, uh, down here. So upload video as soon as this is finished. Now it started. So now Facebook is starting. Now what's going to happen at, once it sends me an email that uh, content has been c c finished uploading is it's going to jump to this route. And I have a filter here that says, whoa, 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 slow down. If it's a video, don't continue this route. So that you'll see that in just a second. I don't know why this is published. Oh, interesting. Oh, it published the whole thing twice. So it's doing both of them. Yeah, it's doing both of them. Check that. Take a look at that. Okay. So there's probably something that I have to fix there. Um, or maybe not. But it did both of the ones that I, ha I had up here. It didn't just run that one time. So you can see... This says two, 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 because it ran two operations. This is so far one, but it's going to say two in a second. And it's going to say two, two, two. Um, but now we can, since it's already created the caption, let's take a look if it actually did reference it. So I got to fix this a little bit because I got to remove that. Um, but let's see, skater. Okay, cool. So it did actually reference what I told it to do, which is reference the original creator. And then Skater Die TV perfectly. So this was created with AI. It has the original caption here, and I told it, "Hey, create something new, but reference the the original creator." And there you have it. Now I have a lot of the, the prompt is a little big for my prompt here, telling it what to say. It's a little bit more in my style. Um, so that's how you get that. How I got something that's short and snappy, but it has like the emojis that I want. It just looks good for me. But here we have the date and we have the status complete and it has the email and we're done. So now let's take a look at the Facebook page and the Instagram. If I refresh this, you'll probably see a new one. And there it is with the with the uh, the stamp of the user. And we got this over here, which is perfect. I got to figure out a way to make open AI not to say that part. And then over here, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Uh, where were we? Uh, over at here in the youth, the this account, Facebook, we have. Just going to check if we are getting any new videos, like the one that we just saw. It should have. Should have uploaded a video. Oh, it's taking so long. This is quite odd. I'm gonna refresh one more time, and if nothing happens, oh, wow. Okay, good. There you go. There it is. And let's see uh, the caption. Perfect. So that was it. That was my script. Now it does send me an email um, whenever the the thing is or the new content has been posted. So I get all that with this script using uh, or scenario rather using make.com. And yeah, so you can use this with anything. So if you enjoyed this, um, just let me know.